Our profile of a learner guides us to develop a healthy sense of self, and part of that focus is working to develop and nurture healthy, loving relationships, as well as making thoughtful choices that cultivate fulfillment. In this edition of On Location, we will learn how our Alamo Heights Junior School students thoughtfully put words into action. Incredibly excited to be joined here by our staff member, Lisa Lucas, who has um, kind of owned the leadership around this project. So Lisa, tell us a little bit about this amazing garden space. Everybody's right. garden, right? This is everybody's garden. This is started through the Unified Champions Club that we he have here on campus. And the goal was to marry two programs together, the Unified Club, and then also we got a grant through David's Legacy. So where what we did was in the advisory, we talked about offensive words and making a commitment to lessen or stop using offensive words in our lives. So what we did was in advisory, we took sheets of paper and collectively decided on words like this one says, I will stop saying the offensive word fat. We took them out to the garden and buried them with seeds so we could regrow new happy words with that. I love it. That's pretty yes. exciting. So Gia, you are part of this garden. Yes. You're part of building this garden and making this a reality for students here. Tell me a little bit about what you enjoy about this space. I really like how basically everyone can hang out together whether you have a disability or not. Yeah. And the same thing with the Unified Club. Like I can necessarily say like we all, like I've made friendships outside of my necessary friend group for sure. And this garden is like accessible too. So like if you're in a wheelchair or you're not, it's all just like a garden unifying everyone as like a shared space where you can talk and hang out with your friends. I love that. I love that. Thank you for sharing. So Lisa, tell us a little bit about that word wall that we see behind us. Right. The word wall came with the project that we were doing for David's Legacy and talking about unified, unifying our campus with the offensive words. We wanted to make a commitment by putting our thumbprint. Everybody put their thumbprint on the wall and that unified us because we came together as a campus to do that and we had STEM come out during that day and build benches. We had them do irrigation wow. in, the, uh, in the garden. We ha uh, bought plants and seeds through the Strings fundraiser. Wow. So it was very much a unified project that we did I love here that. on our campus. I love that. Thea, you and Gia both were part of the leadership um, piece on the three days that it took to construct that wall and get students to participate. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it was really cool because we brought the SSC students out too and yeah. a bunch of the unified members and we were lined up all over here and we would lead the other students through here and we would just we got to hang out basically for three days and just see it all come together which was really cool. How proud are you of this? Really proud. You should both be very proud. You should all be very proud. What an amazing school-wide project. I can't wait to see what blossoms and grows as a result of this work. Thank you for joining us for this episode of On Location. Okay.